Now, anyone who's worked in Amazon FBA or Amazon marketing will know Helium 10 already. I just want to give my opinions to everything. And as always, there's a link in the description, some discount codes if you want to do it. If not, I still think I recommend this tool generally, but there's some nuances now. So Helium 10 is still good in my opinion, but there are some downsides. It's obviously originally called Helium 10 because there was 10 tools in the software or the tool suite, whatever you want to call it. I think now there's probably closer to 20, 25. And a lot of these are pretty irrelevant or close to unusable at this point. So the profit one comes to mind, this profit calculator versus some others on the market, such as Sellerboard, which we just did a video on, is just not to the same standard. But there are some tools that are really, really good. I think there's three that I would class as elite that we use every day, personal Amazon businesses and for SEO clients. And for us, the I would say two of these are, you know, can't live without. They speed up our processes by five, 10 times. And as an SEO agency first, we basically can't rely, you know, on anything else in the market at the moment. There's a couple that are coming in close, but they're not quite there. So I'm not gonna reference them in this video. So anyway, let's jump in. And as always, affiliate link, etc. below. I still think you should consider PDM 10, even if you don't use that link or already have it. Maybe not the main packages nowadays though, but give it a crack and let me know what you think. So we're gonna start with Helium 3, because I think this entire software could be boiled down to three parts and be made really, really strong based on those three parts. So we'll dive into each one now and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the first tool in the Helium 3 package that we recommend is the Keyword Tracker. Now. For me, this is still the most accurate. It's not perfect, but when you have so many individual campaigns across different brands, different products within the same brands, and you know dozens of clients as well that we want to keep an eye on each and every day, um, it's just a way easier way of doing this. And we can see individual stats quite quickly. So keywords in top 10, um, top 50, search volume of those. So as long as these keep ticking up across the board, that's what we're looking for when things kind of drop down, we can go into that individual listing, see what's going on and go from there. So it's not so much the individual rankings, apart from the ones we're running like keyword focus sales campaigns for. So again, for anyone not familiar with that, AmazonSEOConsultant.com, you can see exactly how we rank specific keywords um, every single time nowadays. But this is like how we wanna stay ranked for everything. So a lot of the time, if a client has zero reviews or very low reviews, we'll rank them, such as this campaign here, um, first for their keyword, but then it will drop back down. So I'll just pause this and show you this, how that works in a second. So this will be easy enough to do here. They won't reveal any key information. So this is a collagen client, but the problem with this campaign, I'll show you what happened here, is once we ranked, you can see the client came from absolutely nothing to first and stayed first for months. But the problem was they didn't generate any reviews. So then they slowly started coming down and then haven't gone further. Now, there's multiple issues with this product um, on multiple different levels. But for this example, I'm just gonna say that the price point was probably too high and the reviews are not there. Versus something like here, which I'll show you in a second. So we're gonna just look at these top few. You can see that 600 search volume 3000 they're into the 40s and this product is less than a month old but how we want to approach it is we want to rank first for the keywords that particular people will be searching related to that brand so this product is very niche but generating first page or oh, sorry not even first page first position rankings for a search volume of 300 when your product fits that exact category perfectly the conversion rates just since ranking for this keyword is up to three four five sales a day now, obviously, we don't know if it's coming directly from this or these really small variations, but if you can get top five for 500 search volume before you have 20 reviews and you're making real sales on a daily basis, this brand is up to five sales a day now, which is public. Sorry, which is publicly tracked in our um, Amazon SEO course for anybody interested. Just go over to the site and check out that link. This is the case study of what we did. So this is actually public in that course, but I don't want to make it public in this video. So this is just a game changer for us. We can't individually track 
thousands, literally 1900 keywords for personal projects and clients on a daily basis. It's just not possible. So having 2500 keywords in this package does kind of save us a lot of time. And it is something that I really, really like. Now, do I think this is the best tool for everybody? No, but I do think that just the simplicity of it and the ease of seeing how close you are for maybe big keywords without knowing it um, does help a lot. Now, to find those keywords and know what to rank for and what to track is actually Helium 10, his next product, or Helium 3, as I'm gonna call it from now on. It, that's their next kind of best product in their tool set, in my opinion. So we'll jump to that now. So this tool set is obviously Cerebro. Now, as an Amazon SEO marketing rankings guy first, this tool is an absolute game changer. This is the probably the one thing that keeps Helium 10 in the top two or three softwares on the market, in my opinion, just based on how accurate this information is. Now, it's not perfect. It's not as close as Ahrefs, if anyone's familiar with that tool, but this is the closest thing to Ahrefs for Amazon that I've seen. And the clickstream data is good enough to kind of have a, a real good go at things. So we're gonna run through a live example. This is actually how we do keyword research moving forward. Now, there's tons of tools in here. You can check all, all of these out as we've touched on just now, and you can use Magna. I haven't used that in years, but this is just a way quicker way of doing things. So if we're saying that we have, you know, a brand that sells men's black tees, right? All we would want to do is find the top ranking competitors. So let's have a look at this one, 64,000 reviews. Let's have a look at this one as well, brand new. So we'll take these two. And all we need to do is take the U ASIN, plug that in here, and hit get keywords. Now it's going to go fetch the data and it's going to show us each keyword that that listing ranks for based on Amazon UK because that's the one we chose and then the keyword search volume for that and then some key information around that. So you can see all of these um, filters and tags here. You can see the keyword distribution but all we really want you can see I've already split it by organic rank and search volume and our keyword phrase. So you can see that men's black t-shirts is only 97 searches. Now, personally, I would have thought that would be a lot, lot higher. Now, you can see that this brand ranks for top 10 for a few keywords, black t-shirts, pretty good. Um, but most of their, without the space as well, most of their keywords are coming from like medium to long tail optimization, which is actually a really good point and a really good play, which is why they're probably doing quite well with only 25 ratings making two and a half thousand sales, about two and a half K in sales per month. And this probably is trending up as well. Actually, not really. Ah, oh, there you go. Launching maybe July-ish. They're doing a few sales today, not too bad. So all you would do is you would then export this data as CSV, or you can just copy it, and then put that into a Google Sheets and then review individually about what you want to rank for. Now, because 670 is going to take too long, what I like to do is say, I actually like to keep search volume low if you're launching a brand new product, just because you can rank for all these long tail, like niche keywords. So something like this, this, you know, that's a branded term, so ignore that. Uh, that's a brand. These variations, plain is a good keyword. Um, so don't go too low on the search volume. For this example, we'll go 50 and upwards. We want to have an organic rank where this listing is between 1 and 50 because if they're not ranking in the top 50 it's probably not worth looking at and then you can see we've filtered this all the way down to 45 amazing export that data do it for the next brand <coughs> so fruit of the loom is quite a big brand i think worldwide now um they have however many million reviews xxl is ambitious for me but we'll go with it so 64,000 ratings so Realistically, on a price and reviews point of view, you're not going to compete with these people, but on a quality point of view and t-shirts that actually fit you properly, you probably could, right? So we can see that they're doing 80K a month-ish, pretty good. Um, and then we can filter all of these keywords and these guys are going to be ranking for a lot more. So this is why this is so much quicker because all we have to do is put in the top three, four ranking competitors, usually variations as well. It's not going to be like you're just selling black t-shirts for men. Sometimes you're going to be like a 
multiple avatar market. So if you have two or three different types of people that will search variations of very, very different keywords, they might not appear in here just because Amazon's algorithm is still like quite a way behind like some of the good ones. Um, you can see they rank first for pretty much everything related to this keyword. <laughs> first for cotton t-shirt, plain t-shirt. So that's why they're making such a crazy amount of sales, right? So you can export that or we can go through this again. So we can say search volume 50 and upwards. Um, we can say organic rank between one and I'm gonna just say 30 for these guys. And then this is gonna go down, but not that much. So now we've got 438 and then we can go through these manually, build out our title, description, bullet points, backend keywords really, really quickly. And we don't have to worry about things. So adding in things like work tops, like tees, t-shirts, variations with the T, with the T-E, plain, men's with the apostrophe, without, obviously that's the brand name, tops, sizes. We've got so many, obviously it says gray. I don't know if they have different colors in this enlisting, they do. So that's probably why they rank for so many different terms. But you can see that just in, what, three, four minutes, we've got a list of 400 odd keywords. We can go through manually or we can get a VA to go through. And then from there, we'll have 50 or 100 that are related to our brand. We can build out the perfect title, perfect um, bullet points, perfect description that integrates all these keywords in a really nice way without sounding too you know, AI, SEO-y, um, and just go from there. That's why I love this tool, because it reverts kind of like reverse engineers keywording and competition analysis rather than us coming in and saying okay we sell this product and now how do we actually get to a point where we can um you know create a keyword list of 30 40 50 this is just a way quicker and actually better way of doing it so i wouldn't have thought about the variations i wouldn't have probably came up with the plain worktop versions um but yeah and there's going to be so many different you've got ingredients Cotton, obviously if you sell polyester or whatever you can do that heavy crew neck v neck there's just so many variations and it's just a lot quicker so then you would export this throw this in excel get a va to go through and clean it up make sure they leave the long tails in though because we want to actually rank for those we can rank for them a lot, lot easier as you saw in the um, keyword tracker video and we can go from there so now we're going to go on to the final one now this is Amazon black box. I think this is kind of like very, very good for people starting out, but personally, I don't use it anymore just because I think once you get the hang of using Cerebro and the Chrome extension in general, this box is way more useful to you than a lot of the data in black box. I know it's all connected obviously, um, but a lot of the time you'll have an idea of what you should be doing anyway. Obviously you can expand this and it'll go into basically the same detail. But this as a snapshot, once you know what you're looking for, is a lot better. So I'm gonna group like the Chrome extension and black box as the last kind of really effective elite tool for Helium 10, uh, Helium 3, as I'm gonna call it. But everything else in here could just be kind of reduced massively. Things like listing builders for AI, obviously learning, sure, that's gonna be useful probably haven't been through that but you know for anyone who's been doing FBA or Amazon marketing for a while I think you can probably leave that out and you can see that like the three that we use I'm not really keyword research anymore but that's basically it um, yeah you again when you're using AI you can just take this over to ChatGPT or Claude or Plexity or whatever you use for that and it's just gonna be AI integrations or a custom GPT that they've built out for this. So this isn't anything like revolutionary. Profits would be great if it worked properly. Um, and that's actually in my notes as well. So we'll come onto that in a second. So as I mentioned, I wanted to cover this just before we sign off. There's a few that are still really kind of up in the air for me, um, starting with the refund service. So we, we have an FBA account that if you saw that account in the sell award video you can see it does around 250k revenue a month uh, a year sorry um, and we were able to get about 3k back from a different service helium 10s seems really clunky when you go through so the managed refer, refund service kind of like a sales page with a demo um, personally I'm not really interested in this I just want people to take a fixed percentage so I think we paid somebody a third of whatever they got back so they made a couple of grand we made 3k everything 
So although I think it's a good idea, I think there's currently better services on the market for that refund or rebate type thing, which I do think anybody who makes more than 50k revenue a year should probably do because you can get some good funds back. Um, alerts, again, this is basically a really simple product, but you do need to have it. So along with review follow-up, which is obviously something that you need to have as well. We just use Sellerboard, I'm not affiliated with that company, I just think it's pretty good. Um, but you can use anything. Feedback Wiz is good as well, I've been on their affiliate program for years. Um, but nowadays, you can just get anything simple. Even email autoresponders do a lot of this as well. And then, Atonic is a interesting one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Amazon PPC in general. Anybody who's seen my public brands knows that I think it's massively overvalued and there's a lot of bullshit from all the guru-y type FBA people online of pick a product, use black box, and then throw PPC at it and it just doesn't work. People waste time and money. Um, what's interesting is this Reddit post I found whilst researching this video um, kind of hates on Add tonic basically for the price um, so you're paying like $400 a month for helium 10 which is already pretty steep for three tools even though they are pretty useful um, and then another 1600 for this if you're generating like 100k of PPC or whatever this example was um, and full of bugs this was a long time ago three years ago but in reality I'm not sure if this has improved now PPC in general for Amazon FBA and Amazon marketing is massively overcomplicated and most of it is bullshit, but you know, give it a crack if you want. And then, yeah, so like for me, we just run keyword focus sales instead. For anybody wondering, this is our brand. You can have a look at the website, have a look at the blog. There's a lot of good training information, um, but we basically rank Amazon listings completely from start to finish in 13 days most of the time in about eight or nine days and they rank every single time because of a process called keyword focus sales so this is why it works have a look at this if you want to get more information um, and then get in touch if you have any questions in all in all in i guess review of helium 10 i still recommend it i still think it's useful if you have the budget and you're going to use it for keyword ranking tracking for Cerebro, for black box research if you're launching new products. And the Chrome extension is just really, really handy to have. Um, but do you need it nowadays? Mm, potentially not. But either way, affiliate link is below if you wanna give us a commission. If not, no worries. Um, let me know what you think, whether there's better tools on the market now, happy to test anything out. And cheers.